thing in our Discord. Nice. Alright, there's something else we can try. Rift put an example of how he's catching those trophies. That's nice. Alright, Fabrique had a mackerel trophy on 12510. <clears throat> 12510. Mountain goat. Ooh, Trophy Haddock. It looks like trophies are starting to come out for some people. Using that real worm. Look at that. Um, yo, what's up, Matt? Bootna, welcome back. Yo, Blue, good to see you as well. Long time no see. Uh... Loop rig with size one hook floor leader. What size line are you using? Like, what do we have to, what size do I need to be thinking about? Like, are we talking like, you know, like Boonison? Or are we talking like carp rods? What's up, Flavis? The nearest and lug, lugworm bears. I don't know what that is. Let's go look, see what the bait is. Okay, so you're talking about it's going good, Flavis, by the way. Thanks for asking. What am I looking at? This is the fish market. I always do this. I was doing this last night. I was so tired, and I also was so confused about what store was where. Fortuna Carps. Okay. Okay, 27. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Thank you, Blunty. Are they night fish? Or are they during the day? All right, so we're going... Where are these baits? Oh, is it? Oh, it's that. Oh, it's that stuff. It's on that boat. So is it gold only then? These are baits you can only get here, huh? Is that gold only bait? Turbot in place. Using the neurisis and lugworm. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, so I got some of these last time, right? I may not have, actually. I think I did get some of these. Um, it should tell me how many I have in my backpack. Oh, it says I have none. None. All right, let's just try it. Am I starting to get my head around this? No, not really. But, I mean, it's fun though, right, Flavis? I mean, it's like there's so much to learn. So I'm, I'm enjoying that aspect of it. All right, let's just, through, let's just do these, uh, what'd you say, loop rig? Caliber? Actually, Hold on, let me think about this. I kind of do want to use the Fortuna Carp, not the actual carp rods, but we might want to use... I'm not sure about what reel we want to use. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cannot believe these got, these got boosted so much. Okay, so these are actually what we want to use because of the saltwater resistance. So we can definitely put the Tagara on one, right? And you're saying you're using 27 fl fluorocarbon liters. I don't know. I may just have... I bet these will work too, right? I don't know. Is it going to be different in the ocean though? Maybe I need to craft some... Oh, no, they're up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got plenty. Okay. 27. Large one hook. I'm guessing large one hook. Yeah, large one hook. Okay. Uh, and then we're doing both of these new baits. Have you tried shrimp, by the way? Yo, Seismics, good to see you as well. Yeah, Flavis. 
I know I bit the bullet. I spent so much silver last night just to get started. Sculpt and sell bad. Okay. So we're not using PVA or ground bait, right? No PVA, no ground bait. It's so weird to put a um, Vinga on a Fortuna carp rod, but you know, here we are. One thing I wanted to check is what, yeah, I need a bigger line. I'm going to use mono line if I can. Um, that may seem weird, but in my mind, it's, it's right. All right. Loop rig. Do you got a clip for me? Or are we not to the point of having clips yet? Let's see, 27. And we're going near assist or whatever on this one. All right, we're good. I guess we actually do want to hear it, right? Since we potentially are spin fishing kind of off to the side or something. So I'm going to turn my audio up just a little bit. I had it pretty low yesterday. All right. 30 clip. Just started testing a few hours in. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 36, 531. Where am I and how do I get there? Yeah, we'll do this start off. I, I, I was wanting to do is try to figure out some shore fishing. So let's, let's, let's give this a try. See what the bite rate's like. Oh, you're using PVA. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hold on. You only have 900 silver because you had bought three Avia before update. Oh, Flabus. That's rough, rough timing, huh? Ah, uh, zebra. Can you not search by ingredients? You really can't, can you? Tuna dip. Muscle sauce. I mean, any of this would be fine, right? Let's just make sure there's not like some kind of weird boily in there. All right, we'll just go muscles all the way. I'm skeptical about PVA here. I could be proven wrong, but maybe, maybe it is important. You want the best chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. I, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, wait, can I go this way or am I getting locked in here? Uh-oh. Okay. What level are you, Flavis, by the way? 36, 531. Is that that place that I fished last night? At the end, we were like spin fishing down here. 36, 531. It's like straight this way, south of here. It's off that pier. Yeah, I see. I got, got you. I got you. Mm. Wait, you're 34. Isn't that the cutoff? Isn't that actually the cutoff? One level too high for a trip. That's brutal. That's actually brutal. All right. You cannot take the trip. Let's see what we're doing here. So we're just kind of throwing out into the... Um, Kind of like right in front of us here, I think. Yo, we're bottom fishing. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just start off. I might put this on 35 just for, for some variety.
And then I was catching fish off here last night, or at least caught one. I don't know, Ziga. Got to save up. You just got the trip? Oh, nice. Nice. I hope it goes well. How you doing, Ziga? I had a plan. I was going to... Do I have the 125.05? I do not. So that one was sold out. We have the 70.05. That's the only 05 we have. Uh, okay. We'll just try this. You know, I actually think it might be interesting. And I probably, maybe at nighttime, which we're coming up on, I'll go, um, like, I'm wondering if we want to do that, uh, just like the jigging rig over here. I don't know. It's not like there's much depth. It's, pro it's probably just isn't the ideal place to. But we'll see what we can get into. You also can't really get. I think because there's not enough depth. Right. What about you, Ziga? Are you getting stronger conventional reels? Try to catch those sharks. What? What did you catch him on, Ziga? A spotted... You are going to buy one. A spotted wolf fish, huh? That's amazing. Look at you. I think what we want to try, and somebody was saying this last night, if I remember correctly, we want to try just like a much, a much slower presentation. So we're going to do like very slow retrieval speed, you know? Not sure which one you're going to get. Hey, this looks like a fish right here. Yeah. We'll take a sculpin. Is that what you said the shrimp were catching? Yeah, 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 yeah. Godzilla says, can you catch sharks here? Yeah, yeah, you can totally catch sharks here. I'm not sure how, how much like in this exact location, but in a little while, we're gonna go back on on the boat and we could, uh, we certainly could run into a shark there. Yo, what's up, Mystic? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, dedicated dad, welcome back. You're going to skip Triumph, Ziga? I got gotcha. you. You right, love? Huh? Maybe I don't even want to right click. Maybe I just want to, um, no, you're fine. Maybe I just want to like slowly jig step it in. Cause it looks like if I'm just slowly reeling here, it creates a jig step all the way in. Yo, Thunder Chicken, welcome back. It has been a long time. Ferret, 1978, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. 
Yo, Godzilla, what was your uh, what was your blue tag? Mega Dumpling, nice. A blue tag Arctic Char, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. I really feel like we can catch a fish like this. To be fair, we did not catch a fish this time. But I think I think I think we're on to something with this slow presentation. There's just not enough depth to try to do the other retrieval style. And maybe we should fully embrace the jig step and actually switch to the other um, other rig type. But I'm not going to do that till nighttime when I can go over there. and. Uh, so let's try this one, the Bond 125. And let's go back to the small fillet. We'll use the herring. And let's just cast it out there. Yeah, I don't know, Ferret. I, I'm really, you know, unless I'm just experimenting real quick, I'm really trying to avoid that. Ex <laughs> avoid that. Today you caught one hour, 150 silver minus the boat ticket. Yeah, I, I think as we're figuring this place out, there's going to be a lot of hours like that. That's what I was thinking about last night because I kept focusing on, you know, we spent about 12K between all the line and gear and the new rod. But forget all that. I mean, that a lot of that is like a one-time, not a one-time expense, but a rare expense. Forget all that. We spent, what, $200 on a 48-hour boat ticket. And I think we ended up making 300 silver, not dollars silver. So we really only cleared a hundred silver in, in, in two hours. Yeah, I probably need to switch to that hawker. I was trying to just kind of get to the night to see if I catch another turbot or something over here, but I'll run back and, um, I don't, I don't even have the setup for that stuff yet. Ever 1970 greetings. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Uh, S. Murden, thanks for the follow. James, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. The two bottom feeders that I'm using, are they normal tackle? Yeah, we'll figure it out though, Ziga. I mean, I think... Ultimately, I think it will be a good map for silver, but that may require a lot of um, figuring out ways to be a little more efficient, as well as, to be honest, it might also require leveling up our marine skill to just access different rig types and what are they called? Boat rods. The two bottom feeders, are they normal tackle? Is that what you're asking ever? These are both loop rigs, using loop rigs here. So in that sense, yes, they're normal tackle. They're not carp rigs. They are carp rods, but they're currently set on a loop rig, which you can do on any, any feeder rod. Hawker says 4.0 hook with red, huge minnow, 120.10. All right, let me get my notes up again, Hawker, because... I did want to try a couple of couple of things and seems like that's a good all right 40 hook red huge minnow 120 10 you think that thing's not sold out oh, oh oh not salt gear all right so yeah i mean technically you can the thing is like all right, let me just pull this in because we're not catching anything on it. Um, you know, Ziga, I thought about like, I, yeah, I've played other things while I was taking a break. That's a good question. What have I played since then? Uh, I mean, I play ML MLB the show some. I've played Last Epoch. 
I tested the Diablo 4 beta. But overall, I've just had a lot less time to play things. So I did take a little bit of a break from RF4. I was just anticipating that this was going to come out. This ended up taking a little longer than I anticipated. So I just kind of kept waiting, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, sometimes I think like, why don't I just stream whatever it is that I'm playing? It's better than nothing, right? But with limited time and not just not feeling like I knew exactly what I would be playing from day to day, it's a little harder for me to do that. So going back to your question, if you look at this ever, like this symbol here is what you're looking for. If you put something on here that is, you know, saltwater uh, resistant, I think the difference is you're going to get a lot less damage. But I've also heard, though I have not confirmed this myself, that I could take something like this reel, perhaps, and change out the uh, the ball bearings and maybe the grease and convert it to be saltwater resistant. So I don't know. Again, I think we're all still figuring out a lot of this, but that's what I've heard at least. Blunty's got some better information than I do, though. All right, let's go. Um, let's make sure we don't have anything on. I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to recast this one. We're going to go a little shorter. This one was a little farther out and it's had no bites. So we'll actually go to maybe 25 on this one. So we've got one at 30 and one at 25 now. And this also has nothing on it. Although that is what we caught the sculpin on. And we probably ought to just try some different spots. But for now, I'm going to go see about trying to get this um, this jig rig set up. If I can convert an Evia, that would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, again, we just, as a community, we just got to start, like, figuring out. Um, somebody was saying yesterday, and I never did look into this. RF4 forum, rf4game.com forum. Somebody's saying there's a saltwater guide. How detailed did they make the saltwater guide? It was it an official one? Let's see, where's guides? Um Where are guides on the forum these days? I thought there was Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sea fishing guideline. I got it. All right, first there's something about the map in general. Uh, who is this? SJK? Five hours ago? We actually should pay attention to this. This is looks like some pretty good info. Um, nothing really new. I mean, we've kind of known this setup, but did he show where he was fishing? Uh, 55 meter hole mostly. That's where I was going to go today to start off with probably was a 55 meter hole. All right, here's the guide though. So I'll, 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 I'm going to go ahead and, cause I'm not going to sit here and read the whole thing right now. I'm going to link this in case anybody wants to look at it while I'm streaming. But, um, I was just curious, like how, all right. So if they're saying shallow, shallow water fishing, which is what we're doing right now, you want to go for hundred, 150 gram on the, um, on the pilkers. Uh, they're also saying shelf, like the in, in between areas, sometimes are the good places. They're saying fish finder is a real deal, which is always good. Uh, this is showing what a pilker rig is doing, which that's good. Cause I had no idea or ordinary jigging rig is pilker classic Marine bottom. This is so helpful, actually. This is actually so helpful as we open up the new rig types. Um, I didn't see anything that talked about. So, so a lot of the way RF4 is one, it seems to be wanting us to approach sea fishing is focused on drifting in the, like being in the boat and drifting with the current or the lure or baits, whatever you're fishing with, presenting them in a certain way, 
so that it interacts with the drift of the current, right? I can just tell from glancing at that guide, also from what I've heard other people talking about, it seems like that's one of the focuses of this map. At least that's how it's feeling right now. Yo, physician, long time no see. How you doing? Welcome back, Pytum. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I tried to start early today. I'm going to stream for... It's almost 11 now. A couple more hours at least. Somewhere around there. Um, just so that maybe some of the people that are, you know, different time zone or whatever, we could hang out with them for a little bit today. This is my second Norway trip. Last night, I was really tired. By the end of it, I was like, couldn't hardly think straight, but we did get a little fishing in. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's just fun, right? Like, I just enjoy, you know, having new stuff to level up, um, new things to learn. It's just, you know, breath of fresh air for the game, in my opinion. All right, we've got a fish on over there, so we need to keep that in mind. All right, so right now, what do we need to buy? Uh, 4-0 hook. So let's see where these hooks are. Is it just like one of these? Is this the kind of thing we want, guys? On our, I think it is, right? Like, this will work, right? Red huge minnow. Uh, let's just look at the marine tackle. Oh, you said new ones? Are there new ones? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Okay. Let's get this one. Oh, these get humongous. Holy moly. Do we want to try some different size ones? These get so big. I'm just going to start off with, um, wow. Oh, there's different gram size as well, but I should be fine on that size, right? Foam rubber fish and maggot are doing really well. Foam. Foam, rubber, fish, and maggot. So maggot. What color maggot? I've got all of these in my bag already. And you were saying red huge minnow. Is that this? That's not red, is it? Is there a different one? What about some of this new stuff? The Kraken? Oh, these are kind of expensive for soft baits, aren't they? Actually. The one from my Discord. Oh, you actually said the number, didn't you? 12010? 12010. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, good. I've got plenty of those in my bag, by the way. Um check the one what what's what's in my discord oh was it the one that rift posted yeah yeah 204 salty fish salty fish but the 200 size 204 good call man rift likes those white ones doesn't he he really likes those white ones all right let's get back out there oh wait let's make sure we can actually put it together though Jig head, we're going 4-0, and let's just say we're going to use the, um, let's just say we're going to use this to start off with, and we don't have, so we're not actually putting additional bait on this, are we? This is just, this is what, this is what we've got, huh? All right, let's get back out there. We've got a fish on. I wonder I wonder if the white one will work from shore though. Maybe it will. I think Rift caught that one out from the boat. Probably won't matter though.
Yeah, we'll see. Alright, all right, this is the first fish on whichever bait this is. Um, the nearest, nearest or whatever? Oh, this actually, this isn't another tiny fish. It's not a sculpin. It's not a sculpin. I mean, I guess it could be a huge sculpin. I don't think it's a sculpin. Nah, it's a, it's a torbid or whatever they're called, right? Yo, what is that? European place? Hawkers using white at night. Good to know. Muy guy, welcome back. It's good to see you. All right, so we did catch a fish at 25. We did catch a fish at 25 for what it's worth. All right, so... Let's try the white. Oh, we can't. Wait, is the hook size too big for that? Probably No, it's probably too small, actually. I bet the hook size is too small. If I had to guess, I'd say it's too small. I'm using loop rig with the new baits. All right, so this is not making it jig step, actually. But this is. So with this rig type, we can't do that. At least it doesn't seem like that really slow presentation. Look at this, uh, look at this night bite we're getting. So far, this bait is better. Ooh, this is a little bit more decent here. It's like a big carp or something. I've got large one hooks on the bottom rods. There we go. It's our first turbot, I bet. Yeah, but I agree, Blunty. No, not at all, Rage. This is all Blunty's idea, by the way. I can't take credit for any of what we're doing right now on these bottom rods. And I actually think this one seems to be the better so far. This has caught two decent fish. The other one just caught a really small fish. Six kilo turbot. Or however you say that. All right, there it is. Don't, don't take this PVA too serious. We just threw on something that had fishy stuff on it. You know what I mean? Uh, I already had it. This is not like groundbreaking PVA. PVA may not even be helpful in the sea. We, I have no idea. Thunder chicken says it looked like a, looked like a, a flounder. Yeah. I mean, look at these, look at these fish we're catching. It's crazy. All right. You know what? I'll, I'll just keep doing that unless I, unless I switch everything around. My brain does not do advanced placement of, of, uh, fishing rods very well. All right. Let's figure out why we couldn't put on the Will it work with this one? All right. We have to have a 6-0 hook for these. We have to have a 6-0 hook. But we can try the smaller. Let's try that. All 
A5. That's where we are. Yeah, I'm using marine jigging rig right now. Correct? Yeah. Although I'm not catching much. This is where um, not having, hold on, let me see. Let me, let me look at this before I start saying it out loud. I think this is where not having points in some of this stuff might hurt a little bit. Oh, what is this? Why does Marine, what does this share with? I haven't put a point in this. That must share with. Jigging. That makes sense. So jigging and marine jigging share points. Are there shared points with any of the other things? Oh yeah, I should try maggot, actually. You mentioned maggot before. Because we can do a red maggot. No, we can't. I, I guess my hook is just too small, huh? I don't know if I even have any of the, I'll have to go back to the store at some point. Wow. Okay. Foam rubber fish 001. 3-0 for foam, 4-0 for maggot. Oh, so you're saying you're saying that maybe what I'm using is too big for maggot. Yeah, no, 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 you're right. Okay, cool. Okay, good. I, I knew that didn't make sense. I knew that wasn't right. I'll see if we can actually get a bite with this thing. I guess I do need to remember that was nighttime fishing too, though. Might be a little slower at night here. All right, so this isn't working either. Oh, now it is. Never mind. Caught something tiny, but I mean, this to be expected. We're we're now that we've got smaller, we're gonna catch some. All right, so now the lugworm has caught a fish. I almost feel like I'm at the uh, Christmas fair and I've just hooked into one of those, those giant weights on a, you know, three kilo line, telescopic line. Dude, he popped his head up for just a second and we just started reeling. This actually is what... <laughs> This is what catching some fish feels like, right? When they are flat and on the bottom, you're just hanging out, just chilling. This actually feels really good. Joe, thanks for the follow. Born a Peru, thank you for the follow. This is gonna be like a what, seven kilo turbot or something? It's my guess. TP catch, thanks for the follow. Yo, greetings, Joe. How you doing? You made 148 silver in three hours? I mean, you say worthless update. Like, I guess that's one. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun just like discovering new stuff, you know? I think it's not, I think it's okay to lack some efficiency on day one or two of the new map, right? 
All right, so I think we're stuck. So just when I thought that the neuresis was going to be the way to go, that lugworm just caught a really nice turbo turbot. I don't, does anybody know how to say that? Is that, am I saying that right? Turbot. All right, let's see if we can get something on this again. Uh, quick look at my PVA. Yeah, sure. Please, you know, remember. This is a PVA that I just already had in my bag that I was using for some sort of carp fishing somewhere else months ago. You know what I mean? So don't get attached to it. It's just, I just, it was something that had some fishy stuff on there. There you go, physician. What's up, bug? That's an 80 to 90 silver turbo. Nice. Yeah, good call, dedicated. It's just have fun, right? Just try to enjoy it. Yeah, but this isn't real fishing. I hear you, F1, but look, this isn't real fishing. This is a video game. You know, like, you either enjoy the gaming part of the game, the gaminess of it, or, or you don't. Like, I get it. No, yeah, in real life, if it was your life's dream to go catch a whatever fish... You're going to save up and go on that trip. Somebody's going to hand you the equipment and you're going to go for it. But I don't know. It's a game, right? Those flat fish really just stick themselves to the bottom. Absolutely, bub. Which, like, I really liked the feel of it. A good base for the PVA. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, if I was, if I was experimenting around with actually making a PVA, I would totally try out, um, I'd probably try out this rapeseed. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what else. Rapeseed, flaxseed, something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Again, what I'm using has corn flour. That's just because that's what it was made with. Yeah, feed even? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe feed. Physician's right. Maybe try feed as well. Why is it so expensive to do anything in this game? You can sure pay for stuff with real money. Yeah, yeah, you either enjoy the grind or you don't, right? If you don't like the grind, uh, I don't see how this game could be right for you because it is a grind. I do think that's an interesting thing that they've added. Like that's something I'd like to, uh, I'd like to experiment with on like an alt account or something. And I know some of y'all are actually doing it now. Uh, we talked to some people yesterday that were doing it, but being sub 34, paying the, what is it? 1500 silver, 1400 silver. So if I was doing this, if I was less than thir level 34, what I would want to do is first, I would want to like watch some videos or do a little bit of research to actually have a game plan. Those five hours are going to go by really fast, right? And just have an idea of what I was doing. And then I think my goal for the five hours would be to break even on silver. Which I think is possible based on what we've seen. But if I could break even on silver, then I'm getting to have, as at a, at a lower level, I'm getting to have all this fun at the new map. I'm also getting a sizable amount of XP. And so, that, like, I think that's the way I would try to approach it. I don't know realistically what that would be like, but that's what I think I would be thinking about. Uh, so, I'm at 25 and 30 clip. We're just trying some different... It seemed like the longer clip 
like I started off at 35 or something, it was less active, but this has been a little better. There's another place. Those seem to be, I don't know about silver wise, but those seem to be nice XP for their size. Pillow of Winds, how's it going? All right, so let's try this. What can we put on? Oh, okay, 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 there we go. There we go. Um, let's try the yellow. Uh, you know, I wish I had skill points assigned so I could just cast further. That's the only thing. I kind of want to get back out on the boat so we can do the other style of fishing. But let's, let's try to catch a few more things here. Yeah, so I'm at 25 and 30 currently on a uh, clip. Yo, Addy, welcome back. 20 for that one. Okay, nice. Yo, Mario. Yeah, I totally, I did. I definitely have been, uh, took a little break, step, stepped away. Some of that has just been, been really busy with real life job, but I did just sort of take a break too, though. Yeah, if I could get a little better bite rate, figure out a way to get a little better bite rate on my spinning setup here, this would be pretty sick because we're it's a nice little bite rate on these turbots and stuff. Um, so T Smoker the baits were purchased from the uh, boat. I don't know if I can see it from here. The boat where you get all of the yeah yeah, it's the one past the one that you can see. It's that little bait boat thing. And the two baits we're using are the ones that you can get for silver. These are not gold baits. These are silver. Um, these are two of the three. You can also get shrimp for silver. That's awesome, Addy. Yeah, I want to go out there too. I really do. That was my plan. And then because we never got to spend a lot of time shore fishing last night, I was like, well, let's... Blunty had a good strategy over here, which has been really nice. So I was like, eh, let's start here and then we'll go out in the boat. We'll go back to 55 and check it out. Yeah, but if you've got patience, like right now, if you're spending 1500 silver and you're a lower level player to come here, then yeah, just think of it as like, it's just worth it to have fun and explore, explore the new map a little bit. But I would encourage you, if you can be patient, just to wait until we've all figured out a few things. And that's a nice one. Um, just so you have a little bit more information because if you're a low level player 1500 silver is a ton of silver right that's how I feel about it at least I mean, that first cast, first couple casts, maybe we caught fish, but since then we have not done anything on spin fishing. Like, not a single thing, right?
What was the hook requirement? I'll try that one once we get out in the open water. The thing is, I don't have any 6.0s yet. I got to buy a 6.0 before I... Yeah, I, I, I agree, physician. I, I probably, from here, do need to switch back to that. I was having a little bit more luck on... I don't think I have the 125, but I've got some other ones similar sized. So when like when lures and stuff are out of stock, I kind of wish we could like pre-order. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like go to the store and put a hold on it. You go ahead and pay for it. And then as soon as the stock comes in, they send you a letter in the mail. You can come pick up your inventory. That way you wouldn't have to stress about like, oh man, every time I log in, I got to check and see if what I want is in stock. Yeah, get in line. Get your pre-order in. <laughs> Yo, Droz, how's it going? Long time no see. Hey, it's another, it's another place. I feel like if we're getting them that size, around that two kilo, we definitely want it to be a place and not a turbot, right? What time of day is it, 9.41? Yeah, I kinda wanna start going out in the boat soon. Oh, I do have the 125.05. And I have the 07. And I have, oh, I've got a bunch of the 125s. All right, let's try the, uh, let's try the 07 just for fun. All right, and this we can go back down to a real small retrieval speed. Just let it get that slow pros presentation. Yeah, Irvy, I'm using 25 and 30 meter clip. We've actually done, you know, pretty well here. Like, I'm just antsy to go. I want to go out to the 55 meter hole and just see what we can catch out there. Look at this sucker. Isn't that a big sculpin? I think that's a pretty good size sculpin, personally. That's got to be the biggest one I've ever caught. 2.6. The other thing that next time I fish from this spot, the other thing I think I would want to try is um, shrimp, just to see what shrimp feels like. It might be all sculpins, like Blunty was saying, but I'd, I'd like to try it. Ooh, three kilos trophy. Oh, okay, nice. So bite rate's a lot better when you use a tractant. New fish models are amazing. How do y'all like the new pike model? I only time I saw it, I saw it on the, I saw a picture. I haven't seen it in game yet, but it looked really great online. Fifty meter clip in this spot, Grim. Is that what you're saying? I didn't try fifty. I tried twenty five, thirty, and thirty five. New pike looks amazing. That's what I thought too. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Somebody called a nice poor beagle. Holy cow. Fisherman JT, 27 kilo poor beagle. Grats, JT. Two European place and one turbot. Oh, nice. Okay, good, good, good. Sounds like it's, it's working good for you. It's nice to have, and I'm sure there'll be other things we figure out too. In fact, yesterday someone was saying they were out at like this, this island, catching stuff off this island. I don't know which direction they were casting, but <clears throat> for me at least, it's nice to start getting some options where you can do some spin fishing, but at the same time have your bottom rods out. As much as I enjoy being out the boat, like I like the diversity, the mixing it up like that, you know. All right, we'll give this another couple minutes, and then we're gonna get get rolling. Yeah. 
Yeah, and like eventually, eventually we'll be able to use like fillets and stuff on bottom rods, right? We just can't do it yet. All right, let's get rolling. Am I right on that? Like we can't just throw on a fillet right now, correct? Right, okay. That must be the uh, boat rods. Do y'all think that's when we're gonna be able to start using? Oh yeah, yeah, classic marine bottom rigs, right? So 55%. That'll be big. From what I've seen, you can go just about anywhere on this map and catch something. That's cool. It does seem like stuff moves around a lot. I mean, at least it feels that way so far. Yo, Fisherman, TN Fisherman. Uh, I am doing well. It has been a long time. Thank you for kind words. Is the map very laggy when you aren't in a sea? I don't know. I haven't noticed a lot of lag. Maybe a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Not screen tearing, but... I do feel like if I'm looking around too quickly, and this just might be my computer or the settings we have it on or something. Um, it's, it's not like, I don't know how to describe it. Lower FPS in village. Yeah. Maybe that's, maybe that's what it is. Yo, what's up Baz? It's much better out on the water. Gotcha. Okay. Twenty FPS for you. Well, that's good. Is that good? Is that pretty standard for this game? I don't even know. Bright Luz, thanks for the follow. Village is where ninety-nine percent of the geometry and textures are. Uh, let's see. What were we wanting to get? A little bigger hook, right? In case we want to try some more. different size stuff right oh yeah let's um i don't think we've checked out the cafe today have we cafe is down here oh man really nice cafe order for what we're catching over there this is actually a really nice order if you want to i think you could pretty pretty easily do what we just did. Oh, there's your wolf fish, by the way. So two place just have to be over 800 grams, which in that spot is like easy and it's worth 135 silver. So let's see how much the place are worth. I'm sure that's the better deal, but let's just check real quick. Um, yeah, that's definitely the better deal, but these are some nice fish. Look at that 40, 32, 45. 
those are definitely um those seem like the fish to catch in that spot all right so there's 135 that's nice that's really nice and then overall we've got 218 i mean i think it's going to be hard at least based on my experience yesterday it may be hard to make as much silver out on the open water as we are in that spot and and we could go three bottom rods there and do even better so that's cool that's cool to kind of have that as a backup right um make a little silver take a break from the uh scary open waters and make a little silver <laughs> Ziggled. I knew as soon as I said it, like, so, oh crap, let's get another boat ticket. I was thinking like, I don't know, it was the context of, of the statement or the consistency of it, not the number. But as soon as I said that, I was like, mm -mm. that's actually not what we're going for. Not what we're going for. Don't mind me. Twenty in town, sixty at sea. Sammy, thanks for the follow. CPRT, thanks for the follow. Drunker, thanks for the follow. Cactus, Bright, thank you all so much for uh, for being, for hanging out, for, for, for the support. Waverus, thanks for the follow. I feel like I'm not catching up here. All right, we're heading out to 35. Uh, no, 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 no. Are we heading out to 55 or 34? We want to go 34, right? Put close shadows to simple. Close shadows to simple. Does that help? Interesting. So you say 55, huh? All right. Let's try that. 125.10. I can't remember. I can't remember if I have that one. I do. Okay, cool. We'll try it.
Yeah, that's a good question. Like how much how much would you have had to know life it? So as soon as it came out, you you uh read the book and then you know life it trying to get to 55%. Has anybody done that? I have no idea. But yeah, I would love to know more info on the on the boat rods. <clears throat> can you can you fish with 3? All that kind of stuff. You're in the middle of 55 casting on 80. Okay. All right, guys, we're about to get in uh, voice chat with Joe. He is uh, a, a, a fish soft or RF4. Uh, a fi he's a staff. I have to ask Joe what his actual position is. He's told me before, but we're about to get in voice chat. If y'all have any questions for Joe, he is happy to try to answer any questions you have. Let me uh, Let me see if I can make this work right. You know, me and technology. Hey, hey, you can hear me? Hey, Joe, I'm hearing you great. Hey, great. I'm okay. Nice to, nice to see you. I hope my uh, volume is okay. It sounds perfect. Let me know mm -hmm. if anything's going on weird on mine. Thanks for jumping in yeah, voice sure, chat. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Can Both you remind me what your official position is with Fishsoft? Uh, sure. I'm uh, head of marketing and PR for Europe, uh, North America, or uh, both Americas, uh, parts of Europe, uh, parts of Asia. Uh, I, I kind of coordinate our, uh, our admin and moderation teams. Well, I will say this for, for what it's worth, chat. Uh, the, the quality of communication and just like, I don't know, just the enjoyment that I have gotten from being a content creator, working on stuff with RF4, for me at least, significantly went up when Joe got on the scene and I had my <laughs> first contact with Joe. So you've always been just so good to communicate with. So thank you. I really appreciate yeah, you, that. You got me blushing a bit. Here. No, oh, come you. on now. You're, you're great. Um, so thanks for jumping in. I do see, I don't know if you have my chat pulled up, but uh, you know, of course, I'm sure you can expect this. The first question right out of the gate. And, and then I also just want to open it up if you have any like general things you just want to say sure. to the community. But the first question I saw was any updates on what restocking of uh, <laughs> some yeah, of these of of rods yeah, yeah, and yeah. lures and all that might look like. Yeah, I've answered that question quite, quite a few times. <laughs> I'm sure no, you gladly, have. Gladly, I will gladly. Um, well, yeah, that, first of all, the um, economy system has always been a part of RF4. Um, and uh, we, the, the reason why we have it in the game is because it makes it feel more dynamic. Mm. Uh, it does react to the game in, in a way that, for example, you can see it with the fish prices, right? If, you, yes. if there's a specific fish species that is sold a lot, then you will see the price drop and it kind of emulates a real market. And um, the same way it works with the availability of rods and reels. You know, if you have some like tiny village somewhere in the wilderness, you know, it will not be restocked as often. And it's, it's kind of an immersive thing. Also, um, a bit of, um, yeah, just simulating an economy in order to make it feel more, more real, you know, less, less gamey. Um, I, I know that some people are not big fans of that system. But what I can tell you is, first of all, you will uh, find the the equipment that you're looking for uh, uh, soon. You know the 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 biggest, because honestly, we kind of didn't expect that number of players <laughs> to join the <laughs> join the service, and it's great to see. Of course, we're super happy. Um, but yeah, so it uh, screwed the economy over a bit. You will uh, see the equipment available again uh, soon. And most importantly, don't when it comes to lures, for example, don't stress about a specific lure or lure color. It's by no means the only one that will mm -hmm. get you fish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I um, I think that's a good problem to have more people than you expected jumping in and buying up all the stock but um it is it Honestly, is Honestly, um if if somebody told me before this update that that's the biggest problem we're gonna have 
you know, <laughs> and that the servers are going to be stable and everything. I would have signed that blindly, you know, and still I'm, uh, we, I think we're all, we, we're tired, but happy ab about how this worked, you know, because this is by far the biggest update we've done so far. It's the most complex one. And for this one to, uh, to go over in such a, like, at least, at least from a technical standpoint, such a, such a way i'm i'm just absolutely amazed and uh, big kudos to our developers who for sure pushed it really hard for the last couple of weeks and yes yeah, yeah that's pushed. that's great and i was always under the impression and i, I mean I, I remember back in the day when i first started playing this and streaming this there was uh, a community manager that i don't think he, he's even around anymore but i think he told me and please correct me if i'm wrong on this but i think he told me that the the stock of different stores that that was um th that's not just like somebody behind a keyboard that there's like maybe software or something that is yeah it's an algorithm yeah an it's, algorithm it's, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, okay absolutely. okay yeah. yeah okay yeah i thought that was the case um absolutely. so metzdorf by the way metzdorf good to see you uh says is the book on sale on all lakes i think that that's only here in the admin store uh, administration store is that correct it's only on the norwegian c map Pretty sure it is. I'm not 100% on that one. Um, I think it's here. I think I looked at a different admin story last night before coming here. But if somebody else knows something different, just tell us in chat. Uh, yeah, it should be here. It should be here. Well, this uh, what you see in this update, the the uh, especially players who've been with us for a time, is there's some some things we try to do differently with this update uh, because we took uh, some of the feedback to heart. And um, two of the major aspects uh, or two or also of the major criticisms are that uh, many people said, well, the game is, um, is, uh, is, is very, very tough for people with, uh, with limited time, you know, to, to get into it. Mm. And um, we tried to find a compromise here where we said, okay, we will have some mechanics in, in there to, to at least enable people with limited time, you know, to, to experience this map. That's why we have this like this uh, five day test trip uh, that, we, that we got there and that book. Um, you don't need to use it, of course, but you know, if your life doesn't allow for like multiple hour gaming sessions, then at least you can get, you know, a, uh, you can experience it for yourself still. So um, that's yeah. why, why we implemented these things. Um, and the second thing, and that's the one I'm uh, really excited about is one, one feedback was, um, one piece of feedback that um, the high level um, uh, high level rigs didn't feel like significant enough. You know, uh, some of them you, you it took you a long time to get there, and then they felt quite underwhelming. The um, jerk bait is an example um, that we uh, uh, improved a bit as well in this update, um, but so, some other examples as well. And what we did with this update is there's a clear progression throughout the skill tree. So hmm. you, it will start quite slow, actually, and you're quite limited in the beginning, as, as you're experiencing uh, right now, probably. Mm -hmm. um, but then it opens up over time and it gives you all these new opportunities um, to fish more selective, uh, to target um, bigger fish, um, to uh, also, for example, to create a rig that if you say, OK, I want an option to, to, to catch real big fish, but I also want some action and you can, you know, you can later on build a rig that has one super big bait and some smaller ones to, you know, create more, more hmm. bycatch. Um, so it really expands and it becomes more interesting as you go. And I think that was one of the weaknesses uh, that we had in the freshwater fishing. Yes. Uh, so Stefan brings up a point about feeling like we need more points. Is there any... Uh, I'm sure that's something you guys looked at in terms of we've added a whole new category of a new skill with marine fishing. Uh, are you are you guys comfortable with the amount of points we have based on what level you are? Is there any thought of increasing or changing that at all? Uh, well, it's certainly borderline now with this new skill tree. We always like this idea of um, the character specializing. Mm. RF4 in general has some uh borrowed rpg elements in it right For sure Where it's yeah that's and, and i i personally enjoy that a lot um we haven't decided on this yet yeah. um 
We will think about it, though, and I, I am very positive that at least if we get the next skill tree in uh, at some point in the future, we will have to rethink the, um, the, the point, amount. Uh, yeah. The amount, yeah. yeah. Um, so folks are a asking about, and I've wondered this too, can you speak to any of the particulars or details about what are the implications of using non-saltwater non resistant gear in the, the Norwegian Sea? Uh, you can use it, um, but you will certainly. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Yeah. Uh, sorry, phone call. Uh, you can use it, but uh, it will certainly damage faster. Mm -hmm. um, you can slow that process down, for example, by using the. Um, there are some specific. Uh, what are they called? Um, the ball bearings. Yeah, exactly. Um, that don't take as much tear from from salt water, but um, as much damage, but. Uh, you're probably better off to choose specific um, uh, salt water equipment. So it sounds like if you took a non salt water reel and put in the salt water ball bearings, or even I don't know if there's grease that's specifically mm -hmm. for salt water, but you're not actually converting that to a salt water piece of equipment. You're just improving its resistance. Exactly. And so exactly. slowing the damage down, but you're not full on converting no. it. No. Okay. No, you're not, okay. You, because it's still constructed of different different materials, right? Yes. So you will yes. not take it com away completely. But even if you don't do it, and even if you use like classic equipment here, it's not like it's going to break instantly or something. Right. But you will notice over time. Okay, this might be a too high, uh, too high of a damage. Yes. Okay. Um, so my favorite question of the day: What? Can you tell us what happens when you open, unlock the boat rods? Does that allow us to fish with three rods out here on the on the open sea? No, uh, because of the, the entire concept of European, specifically what this is, is European ocean fishing is that you do fish with one rod because you, you do not know what happen, happens. Uh, you're fishing in great depth and every fish that bites could be a huge one. So you usually won't, would not use more than one rod in these conditions, you know, because it's just too difficult to handle unless, you, un, un, unless you're in like some sort of uh, like guided tour, you know, where you have <laughs> three right. professional fishermen sitting next to you that right. basically put you in this chair and said, okay, now you be king fisherman for one day. But that, apart from that, that's not how this works. And um, you will also notice uh, because that criticism, even uh, our team had when we first started, you know, the, the major criticism was, oh, why can I only use one one rod? But you will, I, I think you will find over time, and as you unlock more methods, uh, that there's, you know, th there can be there can be quite the frequency, and you will probably uh, not miss the other two. So you think as we are able to specialize into marine fishing more and more, and open up new rigs, that we're going to be able to have a satisfactory bite rate with just oh, yes. one rod at a time. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, of course, it's Russian fishing, right? There's the usual chaos factor and there yeah. will be the odd day where it's just not happening. But uh, yeah, in general, you will. And again, you will feel like that you are able to target certain fish more strategically, um, specific fish sizes more strategically. All this will open up uh, as you as you continue on. We noticed that there is a trolling mode on the boat. Are you, is there plans to, or, or, or even a way to engage trolling mode while holding a rod, or is that not what that's for? Oh yeah, you can, you can use it uh, like that. And uh, while you're in trolling mode, you can also still steer the boat. Um, so if you're, for example, if you're big fish hunting, if you say, okay, I, I will want to specifically target tunas or sharks or something like that, it's actually quite a good idea to do that, to troll, um, stay in the trolling gear. And uh, when the fish bites, you will have the, the, the chance to, to go after it because you can still steer the boat. Uh, only once you shut the motor down, you are kind of committed if you do that within a fight because you cannot switch it back on again. Um, so. If, if you are in trolling mode and you are like big fish hunting, it's probably a really good idea to stay in trolling mode. So I've got tr I'm, I've got trolling mode engaged. I'm sorry, I should have tested this before. I didn't even think no, of trying no, this. No, no, no. I've got trolling mode engaged. I'm out here fishing. If I want to then uh, 
turn the boat. Of course, I need to walk back up, even with the fishing rod still in my hands, walk back up or just hit Y to sit back down. And then, like you said, I'm able to turn the boat, change exactly. the trolling speed, turn the boat, yeah, even though I'm one-handed, right? Absolutely. You okay. have to suspend your disbelief a bit because <laughs> the rod will clip through the boat. But the, the opposite is, is, is unthinkable because uh, we tested it and we had people like buying that new shiny rod and leaving oh. the shop more or less and breaking it on the first Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not a good time. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you're right. I'm... So let's see, can I still change? I've got a fish on. Oh, it's not interesting. I, I don't know, I must not have done it right. Trolling mode was not still on when I got back up here, but. Trolling mode is J, I think. Yeah, but but it said, but because I had my a fish on, if I hit J, so like if I go Y, then hit J, it says okay, hands no, no, are busy. Yeah you, yeah, you need to be in trolling mode before yeah. you get the fish on. Yeah, and I thought I was, but I must have not been. Anyway, yeah, you even need to, I think you even need to have the lure not cast out. I think the you know, oh, interesting. You have the rod in the generic states, yes. start patrolling, you know, and then okay. stay in it. Okay. Um, all right. So somebody asked about uh, any plans for surf fishing rods or sea float fishing, as someone else mentioned. Mm, yeah. Well, the, the, this is uh, what this update gives us is a good base for ocean fishing. Uh, we like a, almost like a sandbox that we have now, uh, and that, that's al always the most difficult thing to establish. You know, the first or the mechanics. How does the ocean work? How do physics work in this context? Uh, and that we've got now, um, and yeah, we are excited to uh, to expand on that. Um, mm. I, as usual, I cannot give you like any, you know, timelines or s address any specific aspect that we will work on next. But I, I mean, it would be a huge waste not to not to expand on ocean fishing, you know, because there's so many possibilities if you think think about it. Also, uh, what's huge for us is this is the first journey for us outside of Russia, right? Right. Um, and I mean, the possibilities are endless now. There's uh, there's a lot of interesting water bodies in the U.S. There's a lot of interesting water bodies in South America, uh, worldwide, wide really. And um, I personally can't wait to explore those. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for you to explore them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, any um, anything you can say about? crabs we've seen the model we have crab meat but as of now no crab it seems like they didn't make it into this update yes uh, I, I would take that as a clear indicator that this is not the last yeah. thing you've seen or heard from us about this <laughs> okay okay good call um so grim's asking why do fish disappear from the sonar when you stop the boat I haven't noticed this, but is this yeah, a thing? Yeah. Mm, they don't really disappear. The thing is, the way the sonar works is if, if you're moving, um, especially if you're moving fast, uh, and sorry if I messed this up in English a bit, this is not my favorite, uh, my, my native language. Um, sure. As you're moving fast, uh, it gives you a broader picture um, of the uh, underwater area. And then as you slow down, it, it concentrates on the spot be below you. So you will, it's like somebody explained it yesterday by expanding a piece of paper, you know? Um, so what you, what you see on, on, on bigger speed is you see a bigger area and you get an impression, okay, there's a lot of fish here. And then to target specific fish, especially, especially the depth um, you need to remove the uh, element of speed hmm. uh, because only then the sonar can give you like a detailed um, a detailed idea. Okay, where is this fish actually? You know, how deep is it? Um, and then target it specifically. But it's not like there's less fish. Uh, they are there. It, it, it just uh, displayed differently depending on your speed. Yes. So um, can you tell us if you're aware of the thinking behind not allowing players who are level 34 and above to do the test trip to see you know what the equipment feels like to do some experimentation if they wanted to pay the 1500 silver even at level 40 let's say and do yeah, a so test trip uh, well they usually don't need it is the, the honest answer yeah um, they can go there anyways and 
usually when you reach that point in the game, especially the equipment you need in the beginning, because you, you're fishing with one rod and you're limited to the to the pilka rods anyways, you probably have that uh, have that amount of of silver uh, in your on your account anyways. Mm -hmm. So the simple answer is that you will very likely just not need it. I think what you know, like some of our players, maybe they're level. I think Blunty has given the example of I'm level 37. You know, maybe he had just purchased some uh, HSV overlords. Just happens to not have anything that fell into the saltwater equipment range, and you know, it would have just been nice, I guess. Yeah, I, I yeah. see that point. I yeah. mean, I saw you fishing from the docks earlier with yes. your, you know, normal freshwater stuff. Yes. You you can do that. And yeah. you can do that even with non saltwater equipment and it's not gonna be destroyed immediately. Yes. So if you wanna get an impression of this water body, you can do it with that equipment just fine. You yes. know, it's not gonna be a huge issue. Yeah. Um so try that maybe and you know, if you like it, then the the first tier of equipment that you really need isn't that expensive yeah 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 that makes sense uh yeah having a few lights on the boat would be nice yeah a good idea talking about that already yeah absolutely good um someone asks does sonar work on archie so i guess we're talking about the, the newest archie map uh sorry mm -hmm. the newest ladoga map archie ladoga does yeah, yeah. the sonar actually work there? I know for a lot of us, it always kind of seemed like maybe it didn't work, but we could have been mm, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Well, this this sonar that we got now is uh, certainly a more sophisticated version. Um, one of the problems that, you, or what you need to remind yourself of is that the fish in RF4, and it's a bit immersion breaking to talk about this at all, but yeah. I, I think I need to, the fish aren't really there, right? They spawn right. when when you put the uh, when you put the bait down. Otherwise, this uh, the fr frame rate would completely die, right? Yes. If we had like eight hundred million fish in there for real. Yes. So, um, what it does is it gives you an idea of populations, um, right? Is there like what what are there pop fish populations there? And then the the size icon indicates is there like a chance to get a specifically good fish of that, you know, from that population. Um, so uh, it works much better on this water body um, than it did with the limited one that we got on Archie. But this is something we're going to work on uh, to improve further in the future. Um, gotcha. It's not where we want it to be, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Magnum says, oh, yeah, yeah, Magnum, I'll definitely, if Joe's okay with it, we'll definitely uh, parse out this part of the stream to put on YouTube oh, yeah. so that folks yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, Alternative Ego says, this guy, I think referring to you, Joe, is making my negative feels go away. He's too good. So, yeah. so there you go. Yeah. Well, I'm doing my job then. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm not trying to sell you on something that you don't like, right? If, yeah. if there's aspects to this that you seriously do not enjoy, um, please leave us some feedback on the forums, uh, yeah. on the Discord, uh, where we actually have a chance to see it and um, to, uh, you know, to uh, include it in, into the next patch. If, if you, the, one of the problems is if you just use like public chats to, you know, to, to, um, <laughs> to be angry about something, it will very likely not change a lot of things. So yeah. leave your feedback with us. Be friendly to us. We're just humans and, you know, we will take this stuff to heart as well. Sure. So please be friendly. But yeah, there, there we can actually, uh, uh, we, can, uh, we can use it. S. Merton is saying, are there any plans to have the ability to start trolling mode once we have a fish on? So I guess that does, you know, you get to a situation where you're, you're, not, you're not using the trolling motor uh, mm -hmm. to 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 fish but a certain shark or something hooks in and then it's like wow i need to be able to chase this yeah the honest answer is i don't know yeah yeah uh, we will see yeah uh, also uh, probably fishing asking about the the performance uh, on the docks uh, yeah, we, we notice it's it's an issue. Uh, what you can do as a workaround is turn down the close shadows that has the most impact um uh, and uh, also the grass, I think uh, you can you can turn down for some impact. 
Um, so I would say if you're like doing a longer shopping tour or something, just turn down the close, close, I'm, I'm not sure what was it, is it close distance shadows? Close shadows. And I just, I was just looking at it. close shadows and you said grass. So I've got simple for close shadows, simple for grass. Yeah. I'll, I'll test yeah, that, it again. Yeah, exactly. That, that should help you already. And then once you're like, once you got your equipment, you're gonna spend most time on open sea anyways, and there you shouldn't have any frame issues. Um, we will have a look, uh, another look at uh, uh, what's causing these uh, these dips. Yeah, sure. All right, Joe, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thanks for sure, coming on. Sure, sure. Anything else that uh, you, you wanna say to us before we uh, disconnect? Well, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy this and yeah. uh, leave us some feedback uh, to improve the next one even more. Um, be nice to each other because life is way too short to, mm. you know, to troll. Yes. So, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, tight lines. Yeah. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you for your time. Sure. Thanks. All right. Have talk a, to you another time. time. All right. See ya. Bye. Right, Bye-bye. Pretty cool dude, right, chat? I always enjoy my time talking with Joe. If I missed anybody's question, I apologize. Um, every once in a while, Joe and I catch up. So if there's just some burning question or something, I can always try to follow up with him later. <laughs> Why is Amber dead? <laughs> I thought there was a really good spot on uh, VK on, on Amber today. I haven't done it myself, but what lure am I using? I'm using the uh, Bond 12510. That was very cool of Joe. I agree, Pariah. Yep, I agree, Knox. I, I, I don't know if you were here when I first got on with Joe, but both as a player as well as a content creator, the moment that Joe got on the scene, or at least when he was on my radar, my experience improved by, you know, it's, it's hard to describe how much my experience <laughs> improved in terms of communication and... Um, yeah, that, I, mean, I guess that's the big thing. Joe's a really good communicator. And he mentioned English not being his first language, but uh, he does a pretty in incredible job regardless. Switching to 50 meter clip of that pier spot changed to all haddock. Interesting. Might be depth based. Yeah, maybe so, Blunty. That's good, good information, though. You made over 2,000 silver at Amber yesterday. Well, there you go. Yeah, we talked about restocks at the beginning, Magnum. Um, yeah, so it's based on an algorithm. He seemed confident that restocks were going to be happening. Uh, as they've talked about before, the more, the smaller or more like of an outpost the map is, the less likely that restocks will happen or that stocks will be in any significant amount, which is why places like Volkov have always been the number one place along with some other maps to get to check for restocks and to get equipment. He said, you know, quite honestly, that just way more people than they expected logged in, came to the map or different maps and purchased all the new stuff. It just happened a lot quicker than, than they anticipated. Yeah, we definitely talked about it, Rage. Cocoa cream at Amber. <laughs> In how many hours? 48. Ah, it's an interesting failed queue. Are we going to be able to dig or gather more baits? Crab would be another one that, not that we would dig for it, obviously, but would hope that maybe we can cut them up or, or, or collect them somehow. That's true. Check Sura. No one goes to Sura. That's a good call, actually. That is a good call. Crab pots would be amazing. What do I have on the line? I don't, I don't really know. It's whatever it is. It's like reasonable size, but not running at all. You know? And it's about 30 meters away at this point. 
halibut. <laughs> Could turn this into RF4 deadliest catch. Yeah. Grim says it's not a halibut. Just went out 15 meters. It saw the boat. Yep, there's the run. That's right. <laughs> yeah it woke up hooks trophy while talking to dev <laughs> come on now you had a blue tag safe interesting yeah I don't want a beluga Yeah, I'm going to, I'll do that in a minute, Rage. I, well, actually, I can do that really quick. Let me just wait till it starts to resist for a second again. Coordinate wise, we're at 758, 386. But, you know, that's not where we hooked into him. Right in the middle of the 55 meter hole, basically. Have I tried to lock? I actually haven't tried to lock. Bingo feels like Saber 60s out here. So he's pretty much he's kind of staying you know at least 45 meters out anytime we pull him closer he starts to pull back out lazy fisherman how's it going Greetings. Got him to 40 that time and start pulling again. Doesn't seem to matter between 26, 29 friction break pulls about the same either way so might as well keep it on a little less intense tension i think that changes the amount of damage we take per click there but as it gets starts to get a little tired we might be able to get to a point where a higher friction break does stop the pull which fillet we're on the safe fillet right now could be halibut, interesting.
you are 0.02 away from unlocking the the attra attractant. It's nice. I'm using the Ocean Queen. Yes. Yep. Yep. Just based on what was in stock when I started last night, it looked like the most reasonable one to purchase so that we could do some testing out here. Oh, that's interesting. I did not ask that, Magnum. Can you use the saltwater resistant reels on the freshwater maps? To me, that would seem like absolutely, but I could be wrong. Pytum says yes. Okay. Gamer says yes. All right. We've got him closer than we've ever had him before right now. So let's see if we can finish the job. He's at 25. Should be 20 now. Yeah, there's 20. Can we hit 15? So even when he pulls now, he's not quite as strong, at least at the moment, not getting line out. That doesn't mean he won't have another run though, especially as we get him closer. This is probably halibut, they're hard to pull. What's up, Genji? So saltwater part is only relevant on the saltwater map. It's irrelevant otherwise. Ooh, I don't know if it's that big. Y'all think it's that big? I mean, it really hasn't ever pulled that much, you know? What are we sitting at? 60 kilo, 60 kilo. Using a Vanga. Dro says 25. That'd be nice. I hope y'all are right. We've got him close. He's 10 meters away. Fifty-two kilo took about two hundred lines on the Venga. Wow. Uh, let's see, Podster Games. Thanks for the follow. Sorry if I missed any follows earlier when we were talking to Joe. By the way, I was pretty focused in. Yo, Amar, it's going well. How are you doing? Amar. M Mrs. M Dog says hello, Amar. I had thirty-four kilo on the same setup. It took twenty minutes. Oh, uh, he's like right here. We got 64 yesterday, 35 minutes. Wow. Amar says hi to you both. He says new conventional reel, 60 kilo strength. Lazy Fisherman, thanks for the follow. He's pulling again, but he is right here at the boat. Like we should be seeing his little face. What's up, Noel? Oh, you had a complaint. What were you wanting to say? Oh my goodness. He scared me. I, I like looked away. He wasn't there. And then all of a sudden he was there. How is that full release of Everspace 2? Oh, yes. We need to stretch. Thank you, Grim. Gamer, thanks for the follow. Ooh, Grim, thanks for the follow. Yeah, y'all are right. It's, it was bigger than I thought. 30 kilo halibut. That was fun though, guys. That was actually a lot of fun. Their eyes are so weird. So weird. All right. How far did we drift? Not too far. No. I, I did not ask about bite rate. I mean, the general thing that was communicated from Joe was that when you first start off on this map, you are fairly limited. 
But as you level up your marine fishing, it sounds like they're pretty confident that we will be able to do better and better as well as target specific fish more and more effectively. So that's, I mean, in terms of bite rate, that's the main thing that I heard him saying. Obviously with RF4, there's always, he, he I think he called it chaos, but there's always other factors that uh, are going to affect all that, but just in general. How much is that worth? I have no idea. Yeah, we're at, we're at the uh, 55 meter hole, not 75. This is another pretty nice fish, I think. I think. It's not as big as the last one, but it's decent. That's pretty sick. Like at this point, if you can double your money on a two hour ticket, that's pretty good. 52 gave you 250. So maybe that's a hundred silver fish, something like that. I did not turn on trolling mode. The thing is, and y'all, I don't think you can change the speed if you have a fish on, right? You're stuck at whatever speed you had it on. I guess I need to experiment with that further. I was trying to take a look at it while we were talking to him. Uh, Rom, thanks for the follow. Mal Panda, thanks for the follow. Blunty says correct. Y'all are asking how we're hooking so many fish. Notice the weather too. I mean, the two factors I think right now, time of day and weather. It's ideal. Wait, jig with fillets? I didn't know you could jig with fillets. Not completely, Amar. Lozenges. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I need to look into that. You got spooled twice today? Really? Maybe I should turn the trolling over here on then. Oh, they unlock it 35%. Gotcha. Okay, so you're having an even better bite right now that you've unlocked that. Is that what you're saying? Yes, we are. We are total noobs. And I didn't do the book either. So I'm at 7.1% 7, 1, 7 .1 at marine fishing right now with no skill points. We're using the Pilker rig, the very first one that you unlock. Oh, is that right, Rage? So those are definitely the shark, right? You can put certain, uh, certain fish, like the fillets and the strips, on your Pilker setup. Yeah, that was such a good reminder too. I know it's a simple thing, but we get such tunnel vision when Joe was like, don't 
don't sweat it if the if the specific lure like the one color or whatever the red one is out of stock like don't get focused on thinking that oh that's the only way i can catch fish is that one specific lure it just doesn't work that way uh botsius welcome greetings Oh, yeah. No, you can do... I don't think you need to buy shrimp, not if you're doing this kind of fishing. You'll still catch fish, and as you catch the safe and the mackerel, you can turn that into bait. You don't need, you don't need to buy it for gold. Do you need the best knife for cutting fish? I mean, not the old school kind of cutting fish. I actually haven't noticed on this one. That's a good question, Knox. Obviously, I can't look right now, but we will check that out eventually. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could be getting spooled here. I don't know. I mean, it's a slow death if it is. Yeah, but you can't put shrimp on here, right? Shrimp does cost silver, but you can't put shrimp on here. Dariana TW, welcome back. Good to see you. It's going well. So, I mean, this seems like a different fish, but maybe it is a halibut again, and it's just like, you know, bigger, stronger. Sometimes the fish just feel different, but... I guess it's still not running at a fast rate, but it has definitely been much more consistently running. It's not just like sitting still until I start pulling it towards me or something. Yeah, I'm pilker fishing. That's right. You only need the costy knife for mul the mussels and scallops. Okay. Let's see if we can gain some line back while it's giving us a second. Put off our slow death. Dariana says, I can tell you what fish you got. Are you a um, psychic? Best fish like 20 poor beagle. Uh, info for Cardinal 30 is bad here. I started yesterday. 4 your info, Cardinal 30 is bad here. Oh, okay. So you've been wearing out your Cardinal. Is that what you're saying? Still have two hours left on my fishing trip. Any tips what to do? I would either be doing this or I'd be over at that pier on the, on the um, shore where we started off the stream today using the new baits to bottom fish. You think it's Atlantic halibut? How confident are you? You've got the pilker rig and some safe fillets. Yeah. Then just come out to the uh, 55 and try to catch some fish. You've got nice weather at the moment. You've got many and you learn fight. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I I have no idea. I'm, I'm very new to this still. Pier has some good bite rate. Someone called an 80 kilo poor beagle. Wow. Well, if you're leveling up your marine skill, that means you're spin fishing, right?
you're jigging there with one large hook and foam light pilker setup and you're getting really good bite rate that's really smart i, I like that idea because you're just going for the percentage points right probably catching a decent fish every once in a while yeah that's right addy we got it Thirty-four meter hole with yellow foam is awesome. Oh, really? So this thirty-four. Okay. I'll have to remember that. So, at some point in the next, I don't know, I don't know how long. At some point, we'll have to end this. Um, kids will be around. Uh, we're just. I'm gonna set some time aside to play some board games, hang out with the kids, or whatever. But according to what they want to do and what everything looks like it is possible that I will actually stream a second time today which for me that will be like tonight later on um, but it just sort of depends on how everything's going with them but I, I hope to be able to I want to get some more time in and if I'm pl playing I kind of feel like I might as well be streaming so you have a chance to get new muscles here oh that's cool Dariana is on China region I mean shouldn't matter that much right Atlantic. That last one was Atlantic Blunty. When y'all are saying light pilkers, you just mean the smaller sized lures and baits, right? Greenland halibut is 2,000 silver in the cafe. Wow. Oh, 50% XP boost. Okay, I got gotcha. you. That's interesting. So you kind of have a different setup. You're intentionally targeting smaller fish with the size uh, jig you're using. But you are getting that XP boost. Huh. That's interesting. Smaller hooks on the same pilker you're using now. Bite rate's crazy. Almost every cast fish. Interesting. Lighter. Test more or less. So more limited for deep holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're using three out hooks on the yellow foam? Yeah, okay. Thank you. That's good info. Good info. Guess what? Like, I, I don't think we're getting spooled. I mean, I could be wrong, but overall, we've been coming in a lot more than we're going out recently. What is the 4.5007? Is that a lure? <clears throat> is that the pink? Oh, it's the quicker. Okay. They're using it on this map. <clears throat> Works okay. You forget that you can see the distance at the bottom. Yeah, we're at 85 meters right now. But we were at, what, 150? The sucker had us out to 150. <clears throat> so...
So I'm really glad <clears throat> that Joe told us that we were not going to have rod holders on the boat. I think it would have been hard for me to not know that and to be expecting it <clears throat> and then go through the disappointment of realizing like, oh, we still can't do it. So I'm glad we found that out today. And I get what he's saying, even like these last two fish we've caught. And if we're going to be able to target bigger fish even more effectively with later rig types and stuff, it's kind of silly to think that you would want to have like two or three of these kinds of fish potentially getting on at the same time. So anyway, I'm just, I'm glad that I can sort of adjust to that expectation now. We're at 70 meters. He's just really coming in slow. Oh, it's beautiful, although the storm went away, so weather's a little different now. It's very calm. Just for uh, for the experience, I kind of hope this is a different fish, but a different type of fish. But if it's the same, I'm expecting it to be a little bigger. It it seemed like a different fish to me, though. Fifty five meters, fifty meters. Now I've got a small fillet on, right, Addy? Mr. Perfect, greetings. Welcome to the stream. going good having a lot of fun it's really nice to have all this uh the new stuff to play around with new fish to catch it's been a blast oh you're using the tiny oh i got you yeah you're using the whatever it's called that's interesting you think maybe that avoids some of the larger fish by using this the stringy thing who knows? The strip. Thank you. I couldn't come up with the word. All right. We've got him to 40 meters. The strip gives smaller fish. Okay, cool. Crimson Knight, you think it's a halibut? Another Atlantic, I guess. Is that what you're saying? Twenty five meters.
15. Lock and pull. Okay. Same fish. Forty four. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go see what we got. What lure? Yeah, this is what we've been using out on the 55 meter. The 125.10. Don't think that they get triple that size. Yeah. Yeah. So we've done, you know, a little bit of fishing. Only 0.3% wear on the line. So it doesn't seem like the line is... Considering how expensive it is, thankfully it doesn't seem like the, the line is like wearing out super fast. So y'all are kind of saying if we want to avoid the bigger, we could go with the strip. Also could try the herring, I guess. So the best I can tell you is that I was like right in the middle of 55, right? And dropping it maybe just south of the boat, kind of like that. But I wasn't fishing far away from my boat. So very much fishing in that sort of middle area. So when you catch a bluefin tuna, do you have to take it to a special dock, get a tail sample, an NPC telling you the price per kilo? <laughs> That's good stuff, Magnum. So if we go U.S. Weekly, Atlantic, 133 on the 180.05. Oh, imagine how long that took. Ooh, I like seeing Absolution out here. I'm glad Absolution, Absolvo is playing the game again. Yo, what's up, Serial? For 
Frozen Yak, good to see you again. Yeah, we're on the new map. Sounds good, Serial. Hope you have a good experience. I don't know if I, I'm not exactly sure. I'm hoping I'll be able to stream again later tonight. So would love to hear back on how your experience goes. RF4 is bringing out all the old school fishing guys. Yeah. New, new stuff to, to figure out and enjoy, right? So we have a couple of decent size Atlantic halibut to sell. Let's see how they uh, how they do at the market. Yeah, I I definitely want to make sure. So if you weren't here for it, uh, Joe from FishSoft. Um, came and joined us and just for a Q and a period. And I will definitely, um, put that on YouTube just so that other folks can hear. He had a lot of, a lot of good things to say. Um, answered a lot of our questions. So that was really helpful, but I'll try to make sure the vibe gets up. I don't know. Precise driving of the boat seems very hard. Okay, we'll double check the um, the cafe, but I don't think we have anything for the cafe. That mackerel order, if you could avoid the bigger fish, could probably get to that pretty well. We did have one hake, but it was a small one. Yeah, that's awesome. If you could get a 25 kilo Greenland halibut right now, whew, pretty cool. All right, so let's see what we've got. Not bad, 184 and 124. I'm gonna turn this smaller safe into bait real quick, but. Yeah, all the fish orders do seem to pay pretty well. All right, what do we need the most of right now? We have 15 of these, so probably those, what we're catching those halibut on, that's probably what we wanna focus on right now. So let's use the smaller one. Yeah, it's just somebody was asking the question earlier. I know it already got answered. It looks like you can use the old school knife. So you're saying if you were going to buy a Vinga that way anyway, you might as well get the package. Is that kind of what you're saying, physician? So 381 silver, plus we made a couple hundred off the shore. So compared to yesterday, at least, uh, we're doing pretty well today. We did a, we had a pretty good, pretty good time out here today compared to yesterday. But it was a lot of fun either way. I mean, yesterday was fun too. It's just been a lot of fun trying to figure out new stuff, so... Uh, okay, Kmart, thanks for the follow. Uh, really appreciate the support. Thank you all for being here. Like I said, I'm going to spend some time 
uh, with fam and then we'll kind of see how the day goes. I may try to stream again tonight. I'm just having a lot of fun with it and kind of want to get in here again, but it just depends on how things go. Uh, hopefully be back tomorrow. Happy Easter to everyone. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know exactly what my schedule is tomorrow, but I'd love to, to get some more time in tomorrow. And then I have some time Monday as well. So um, hopefully we can spend some time exploring and figuring stuff out. But you